Hello everybody, it's Skybase Games, and welcome back to Crossout Let's Build. And we're back with another budget build, guys. And this is around 200 coins. And it'll be quite fun to build this one. And with budget builds, I am going to try to stick under level 10. In terms of parts. So we got some 6 wide frames work with so some um, 2 by 4s that's good I think I'm just gonna do with 6 wide and a 6 wide this way so the most expensive part we're gonna use is a single ton part it's gonna be a duster captain and the two other parts that we're gonna use that are kinda cost money kind of to say are two junk bows so I'm gonna just throw them on there for a second so we sit at w just over 100 for the cabin and 160, uh, 175 for the two guns. Just gonna put them on the side. Uh, I'm just gonna actually don't need those just yet. I'm gonna go with a pretty simple setup here. It's not gonna be anything special to be honest. And I'll be having to look a little bit at the level occasionally. Got a look, okay, we've got two small buggy floors to work with. Some, some medium struts and fan windows. That's pretty much all we need. So going to the small buggy floors. I'm gonna put two of them right here and right here. Then I think we should be able to put a some kind of part right here. Hmm. What part on that list? Uh, there we go. Those two work there. And this is where we put like, put the sh shotguns. And going back for factions for a second. So we do have some pair of fenders that we're gonna use. We're gonna use the fan windows as said. Minifin sideboard and canvas roof. Canvas roof is kind of the part I was looking for. Needed a big part in the rear. So canvas roof is gonna do that for us. I put the fan windows on the sides like that. And gonna put let's see. Like you can I guess I can Oh my god I changed that we can act Wow we can act that's actually new guys that we can <laughs> connect stuff up actually directly to the wheels. That's actually new. So that's pretty exciting. I like that quite a lot actually and we're actually gonna use the radiator grill in the front here to connect up those two pieces in a more proper way and that should really pr pretty much be it so i'm gonna try 300 pretty high speed mobility actually i think we can make it slightly prettier though by simply adding a pair of fenders. And then connecting these up to the fenders instead. These go like this. And lastly, that goes there. Slightly more higher power score but you gotta take a right to the match here it's not that expensive and i'm just gonna point a few things out to get started with this setup so the advantage of this setup is you get the duster and the duster as an initial investment is a it's a really good cabin even though it's only uh it, like it's only common so you do not it, it's still only 250 power score but it does give you a ninth energy point and at 9th energy point, it can actually be pretty valuable on certain things. As an additional upgrade, after the, I'm just first going to show it without it, but after this, 
I'm going to replace the rear armor with a Tremillion. And a Tremillion will basically be the upgrade, but then it will sit at just over 210 or something coins in order to get this. Um, with this, this, this is a build that you can get, uh, like, these budget builds are all builds that you want to get in, like, the first week. Um, I don't know if you guys remembered, but I'm gonna actually, like, make a new playlist, probably, to, uh, show these off, but I also made one with a pair of little boys, as well as some other stuff, and because it, it didn't use the expensive duster, it used as a growl, but it was a quite a bit higher power score, so... That's a little bit of a risk. So this is if you're really a fan of close range combat. Oh, damn, that thing is big. Seeing a wow, we've got two thirty two hundred power scores. Some of these. That kind of hurts. <laughs> to be the lowest power score unit in the lobby is painful, but oh well. So this thing is pretty mobile, but you do have one pretty big risk that you have to watch out for. These guns have practically, practically zero range, like, you have to be around this close in order to really get good profits. As you can see, like, it does no damage. Uh, these weapons have infinite ammo and have a reload base system. And this is basically what we do, guys. We just strafe by and shoot buddy, somebody in the face with a pair of heavy shotguns. And with the cloaking, it's going to be even easier. You're just going to be passing by and boop. That's all this thing does, really. We do have to watch out a little bit. Oh, there's a go there's a hover over there. Damn. He will not, he do will not want to get close to us, though. Here he comes. You're not going to be fast enough, buddy. Rip you. So yeah, I'm going to go and actually equip the chameleon. Know that these are all using market prices. And if you're, uh, like, you, especially the duster, you, you have to rely on the market price. So these things might become more expensive or less expensive based on market price. But generally, like the resource values raise and uh, like raise and fall together with the parts itself, so that's generally still balanced. So the Chameleon, if for the people that do not know, because these are of course aimed for new players, is a module that temporarily makes you invisible. You note that your tire tracks are still visible, and it has a limited duration. And after that, has a pretty long recharge. So, um, and it's a bit of a high risk, high reward item, uh, but it can help you get close and get that first alpha shot off. With these weapons, be sure to try to get behind people if possible, because as overall, just more efficient. And let's hope the matchmaking tries to get us in a match a bit faster. Let's requeue here for a second. But yeah, to past maybe like five or ten meters, you're not gonna really do much. Like that's pretty much that's still doable in damage, but that's already like no go. And still not, and uh, like. <laughs> You have to get really close to it for it to work. But granted, that 116 damage here. That's almost try three times the damage. Be sure to aim for weapons. And if possible, if you're like, it's an unstable build, you can aim up the upper section to try to use the knockback of the gun to flip them over like that. But that's not really that much of a tactic you should be using. Looks like we got the upper curve this time. But this thing is a bit higher power score. That's the one thing to watch out. And comparing these guns, uh, the shotguns, uh, like slash hammer, this thing has less range, but has way more alpha damage. And alpha damage is basically like just a, the one firing shot potential on this thing. 
This thing is capable of fully degunning a build in a single shot. Which is pretty dangerous. And there's a guy over there. And this is what I mean with the high risk rewards. Degunned. Ah, no. Okay, we got him before he could suicide on us. That's good. Got to support the teammates here for a little bit. And now we're going to get the heck out of here because we have to run back to the horse the cap zone. That should be enough for them to deal with that unit. There we go. Touch the missiles. That's a harvester. That's a big unit problem. Ouch, those were cannons. Can you not push me, please? Uh, one health remaining. Oh my god, that's so, so much damage. Okay. Grip me. Nobody's looking at the. <laughs> oh, that was amazing. I don't mind getting shot by a back flipping mini cannon guy. I'm perfectly fine with that. And let's take one more match just to try to get a little bit more example footage and stuff like that. And of course do that. Because I always accept our friend fights. So if you got a like this, I will continue this series. And this series will be focused around two to 3,000 power score vehicles under 250 coins at uh, total value. That's basically where this thing is going to be focused around. And this guy is, we got a short range shotgun build. Of course, the Duster is more expensive than the Growl, but it is really fast. And when you get a lot more, like a little bit more coin, you can, in theory, get a gas generator, get a third shotgun, and get a really powerful, potentially like even one shotting machine. Overall, the Duster is a really good investment, even though it costs quite a lot of money, and those are other shotguns. <sighs> shotguns are so painful. Note that when you're on fire like this, on low health, and you go invisible, the fire is still visible. So that's a bit of a downside. And uh, let's hope people do not really notice this too quickly. Uh, I'll have to go to get this guy first. Ah, uh, never mind. <laughs> One can only get so far. This is a little bit more expensive build, guys. Damn. Why'd you be using a harvester this tier? That is like over 2,000 coins <laughs> worth of value. But I would say that we actually do have a chance against him because we are actually faster mobile, mobile, more mobile. Oh well, that's that. This thing can, of course, definitely be improved, especially on looks, but uh, Stegan is a low level build. Um, and this is pretty much as good as you can get. You will not be having pains. Or decor or whatever. So. Uh... Oh well. That's it. I hope you guys. Um, enjoyed watching this. And I'll see you guys all later. With more of these budget builds. Bye guys.